all today we are going to discuss about another new topic in your 7th class biology that is balanced diet to know more about balanced diet we are going to start our session with balanced diet what is the definition of balanced diet see here a diet containing food items a diet containing food items uh, having more of carbohydrates having more of carbohydrates and proteins okay more of carbohydrates and proteins along with little along with little fats vitamins and minerals and some more little amount of uh, roughages and water makes our balanced diet okay a diet containing more food items what are that more food items mainly three in more quantities carbohydrates proteins and in little quantities like fats vitamins minerals makes a balanced diet okay it makes a balanced diet that is about balanced diet and we people know that balanced diet should not be costly one if the balanced diet is costly then most of the people poor people they are unable to eat it if we do not take the balanced diet then we have to suffer with many diseases that means deficiency diseases if we are unable to fail we are fail to take any food item into our body through diet then it leads to deficiency diseases vitamin deficiency diseases and certain weakness we may find in our body then go to the next one a balanced diet need not necessarily be costly our scientists find that a balanced diet it should not be costly each and every person in our country world wise they should be afford to buy it afford to eat it such kind of balanced diet our scientists Um, they did many investigation on nutrition and they find some easy ways and affordable balanced diet that what we are discussing in today's session see here everyone can afford it even the poor even the poor people also able to afford the balanced diet such kind of balanced diet may keep all people in our country to be healthy Okay, see here, children. Dal. We are well familiar with dal. What makes a balanced diet with simple items? Okay, we are able to buy dal with cheap cost. See, dal, rice, rotis, green vegetables, little oil, green vegetable, little oil, and mm, jaggery. We all familiar with the jaggery, which is sweet in taste. By adding a little amount of jaggery. it fulfills the requirements of balanced diet what what we discussed dal our diet regular diet it may contain dal rice if you are able to take rice you may take otherwise rotis uh, instead of rice you may take rotis also okay and then green vegetables everyone should add certain amounts of green vegetables in their diet to make your diet balanced one along with that we also have to add little amount of fats and little amount of jaggery then cereals we people are well familiar with cereals pulses milk okay certain food items while we are uh, um, discussing about nutrition it is important to know about which kind of food we have to take adequately moderately sparingly like that we have to discuss what what is meant by adequate manner see here adequate adequate means uh, in sufficient amount sufficient amount of food we have to take that one is called as adequate in telugu taginanta okay cereals pulses milk we have to give in adequate manner to our body then fruits leafy vegetables we have to give plenty plenty means pushkalanga okay in telugu we just call as pushkalanga we just supply the fruits and leafy vegetables 
in a plenty manner to our body then only we should be healthy then move to the next one cooking oil we people are well familiar with cooking oil your mother may use cooking oil in the preparation of different varieties of dishes and curries cooking oil as we are using vitamins and some other minerals animal food we have to take in moderately moderately means uh, not too heavy and not too less in the medium we have to take animal food we have to take moderately and at the same time cooking oil also we have to take moderately then move to the next one what is that vanaspati uh, what we call in telugu dalda vanaspati and then ghee you people are well familiar with ghee and then batter butter what is meant by butter yes uh, one of the milk product it also we have to take along with the cheese sparingly sparingly means in very little quantities very little quantities we have to take vanaspati ghee these are all party food items which may contain more and more fats in it that's why we have to take sparingly in very small quantities we have to take and then move to the next one history of uh, nutrition it is before going to discuss about history of nutrition it is very important to know about uh, uh, how to avoid junk food okay how can we avoid junk food what is junk food junk food or fast food uh, which makes our body to be un um, unhealthy what is meant by unhealthy uh, it makes our body to be lazy if we take more amounts of junk foods like uh, the food which is available in the packets and which may make uh, by using more quantities of oils which may available in the restaurants such kind of food if we are taking regularly then we may get so many digestive problems to avoid such kind of problems we have to stop eating junk foods if you eat junk food like noodles and some other food items which may or available in the streets if we take such kind of food it leads to many health hazards in the future why we are eating those are very tasty after that you may get some problems in your stomach and it may lead to constipation it may lead to some ulcers and it sometimes uh, some dangerous food items also causes certain varieties of cancers inside the intestine okay that's why eating junk food is not a good habit avoid junk food how can we avoid junk food instead of taking junk food you replace the junk food um actually we take the junk food during snacks time breakfast time we people able to take avoid such kind of uh, junk foods in that place ask your mother to prepare certain healthy food items healthy snacks uh, otherwise you may fulfill your snacks time with fruits and fresh vegetables then you look healthier and uh, you are capable to do your activities in a perfect manner okay um, by listening this you are going to be avoid your junk food is it right yes everyone have to avoid junk food now let's have a discussion on history of nutrition history of nutrition in, in the year sorry 170 years ago 170 years ago most of the people they don't know world wise most of the people they don't know a little idea on nutrition after 170 years Uh, just in the region of west the people have a small idea on nutrition later they find that um, we may get certain nutrients into our body through diet they identified that and in the year uh, 1752 in the year 1752 a scientist named as james lind who is he James Lind what he discovered he discovered a disease called as scurvy what he discovered a disease 
most of the people are suffering those days in 1752 those days most of the people were suffer with a disease called as scurvy actually it is a disease related to the teeth uh, the people who are suffering with the scurvy uh, they may get bleedy gums while they are brushing or while they are eating their gums they may bleed and the wounds they may take a lot of time to heal by that or uh, by suffering with the disease called as scurvy and these day means uh, in 1752 most of the people who were died after that they find uh, by taking certain fresh fruits and vegetables the scurvy is was cured during those days that was identified by james lind first he identified the disease later he find that by eating fresh fruits and vegetables the people get could cured from the disease scurvy means if we include certain food items um, through our diet into our body we may get rid of certain diseases mainly deficiency diseases okay and who is the founder of modern science of nutrition the founder of modern science of nutrition is lavoisier lavoisier we um, give credit to lavoisier as he the founder of modern science of nutrition he identified the food contain different varieties of nutrients like carbohydrates proteins and fats that's why we credit after his invention most of the scientists they turn their inventions on nutrition and most of the people uh, they give better knowledge to the people and to make the people to have better nutritional habits whenever the people follow the better means uh, the important nutritional habits then everyone should be healthy if the people of your country healthy then the country may develop very easily without having health are we able to do any activity it is impossible that's why before going to do any work we have to concentrate on our body we have to exercise regularly and we have to provide a balanced diet to our body as we all know that a balanced diet is not a costly one we are able to get balanced diet in cheap means also with less cost by taking rotis rice milk and some adequate uh, amounts of fruits vegetables along with that plenty amounts of carbohydrates and proteins along with that adding sparing amount of fat to our diet make our body to be healthy okay is it clear by this uh, balanced diet we come to the end of your first lesson in your 7th class that is food components okay i will meet you in the next video with second lesson thank you for watching